Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to realize the following Boolean expression using CMOS transmission gate design style. The expression which is given to us is y equal to a ended with b plus plus means nothing but parallel or or a bar ended with c bar plus again so or a ended with b bar ended with c. Now we have to realize this using CMOS transmission gate design style. It's a very straightforward thing. In the previous clip we have seen that when this is my control signal, this is my input A and this is my output and if my control is 1 or my output is nothing but A into control. So when my control is equal to 1, my output is, it is nothing but a closed switch and my output Y is equal to A. However, if my control is equal to 0, then whatever is at A, it does not pass. So this is nothing but in simple language when we draw an NMOS transistor we can do the similar exercise for PMOS as well this is nothing but a pass transistor it's nothing but an N functionality A and D AND gate functionality which is achieved when we use an NMOS or a PMOS transistor alone so let's call these terms as term 1 term 2 and term 3 term 1 can be easily implemented as I have shown you here it's A and B so let's draw an NMOS and if this is my B and this is my A it's nothing but Y equal to A ended with B we already saw this here above so if B is equal to 1 Y is equal to A and if B is equal to 0 Y is equal to 0 this is nothing but an AND gate if you can see from the truth table also if one input is 0 it does not wait to see the other input and the output is 0 that is what is being achieved so if term 1 easily done let's do term 2 again very similar if we assume we have inverted inputs that means a bar and c bar are available this is nothing but a bar and there's nothing but c bar so the output here is nothing but y equal to a bar dot c bar that means if c bar is equal to 1 my y is equal to a bar in simple words yeah that is what it means so again this is an end functionality which is achieved very straightforward so I got the second term also remember the first term is connected in parallel to second term or it's plus so it's an or so once I drew one first second and third term I'm going to put all these terms in parallel to each other and that is my implementation using pass transistor and I'll enhance it to make it the implementation using CMOS transmission gates let's see the third term now in third term there are three inputs a b and c and with the logic which I have shown you here we can implement this logic only with two inputs so let's do it for the two inputs first and then we will enhance it and make it for the third input so let's do this here we'll call A and B bar as one implementation which we are going to do first so let's do that A and B bar so this is nothing but my NMOS this is my B bar this is A so this output at this node right now is a ended with b bar now this entire term a and b bar is in series or is anded with c so this entire expression needs to be anded and it means series with c so this is nothing but here as it was a and b bar here it's going to be c and a b bar so output here is nothing but y equal to a b bar c so let's connect all these pass transistors in parallel so let's draw one first so this is my first term where this is B this is A this is my second term this is C bar this is A bar and this is my third term B bar A in series with C because all these transistors are connected in parallel so I've connected all of them in parallel and this is nothing but my output Y but this is the realization using pass transistor in order to make it using transmission gate draw the transistor which is not present in parallel to the transistor which is present so here NMOS is present so the parallel transistor is going to be PMOS it becomes a pass transistor NMOS is present parallel transistor PMOS it becomes I beg your pardon becomes transmission gate not pass transistor when it's used alone it's a pass transistor here NMOS is present draw parallel PMOS becomes a transmission gate NMOS is present draw parallel PMOS becomes a transmission gate what are the inputs to this transmission gate exact complement to the input to which it is connected in parallel to 
here this transistor is connected in parallel to this and mos whose input is b so this is going to be b bar here it is connected in parallel to c bar so this is going to be c here it is connected in parallel to b bar so this is b here it is connected in parallel to c so this is c bar now you can see that what we have done is when b is equal to 1 my b bar is equal to 0 so this transistor or this chain or this transmission gate is on and my y is going to be nothing but a b similarly we can explain for the transmission gates also the reason why we use transmission gate is we want a proper 1 and a proper 0 at the output and at the same time remember the transmission gates operate in a way that both my pmos and nmos transistor are on at that that instant of time we have already seen this in the previous clips so hope you have realized how to draw any expression or realize any expression using transmission gates stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much